How's it going guys? This video is about an experiment. An experiment in um, changing the impedance of the input. Let me rewind. So Helix goes to great lengths to really, really mimic every single aspect of an analog rig. When you are using a giant pedal board, you have a bunch of things in, in your chain. The more stuff, right, the more stuff you have, the more the signal degrades, right? You, you, know, you heard of those tone sucking pedals. People even add buffers and stuff to kind of bring the signal strength back. So Helix sort of, kind of sort of mimics that behavior, except it does it very strangely, in my opinion. We will take a look at the settings in a second, but basically it's like this. There's a input setting called auto, which takes the very first block in your chain of effects, takes its virtual impedance and applies that virtual impedance to your entire chain, even if the effect is off. So if you have, if you have a fuzz face in the beginning and it's not even used in any snapshot, it will suck out the tone virtually however here's the weird part if you have 20 other fuzz faces after it it won't matter the result will be exactly the same it's the very first fuzz face that that does that tone sucking <laughs> virtual tone suckage uh, let's take a look at the um, hx edit okay so we're looking at a hx edit let's take a look at this very first preset as an example, if you go here, if you click the input, if you are in the edit section, you can specify the guitar in Z. What is guitar in Z? <laughs> That's the impedance. By default, it's set to auto, but if you drag it to the right, it's 1 million ohms. And according to some people on the forum, 1 million ohms is the realistic impedance that one should be using. If you don't set it to that, the default value of auto will, like I mentioned, take the very first effect, take its virtual impedance and apply it. So in this little experiment, we're going to, I'm going to show you several presets. So the first preset is this second preset is exactly the same except the impedance is set to 1 million ohms from auto the next preset is a maxed out preset with a lot of stuff that is not used distortion is used the amp block is used and the delay is used the very first block is a fuzz face that's the tone sucking non-true bypass <laughs> pedal in the beginning so the, the the goal of this experiment is to simply max out everything and not use anything <laughs> except for three things see the next the next uh, preset is just the essentials only the things that you will be hearing everything else is deleted as you can see and finally, we're back to the maxed out preset, except the input is set to 1 million ohms. So let's see how it sounds. In my, <laughs> in my humble opinion, the difference is there. The difference is negligible and I don't feel like redoing all my presets now with this recommended 1 million ohm value. So let's let's carry on the experiment. My opinion, I, I just did this earlier. I think that the, the, there's a difference, but a very, very, very insignificant difference. So let's prove what we're trying to prove. Hopefully this experiment is going to be consisting of two parts. In the first part, we will be comparing a cleanish sound, as you saw with the auto setting. 
against the same preset, but the input is set to 1 million ohms. So, A, B. I think it sounds shriller. Let's uh, turn up the gain and do A versus B. That's A. That's B. Some weird uh, notes, like notes are weirdly popping out, like this note. A. B. It's. Um, to me, it sounds less even, maybe because I dialed in my my preset with the auto setting. Okay, the next part of the experiment is three presets. It's a dirty preset, and then we have the same preset except everything is removed except the essentials, and finally. It's uh, everything in chain, but the, the setting has changed, so let's see. This is A. B. And C. Let's do some single notes. B. C. Okay, so there you have it, guys. The, the myth is sort of busted, and we proved what Line 6 is claiming, that it doesn't matter how many effects you have in your chain. The very first effect dictates the impedance, the virtual impedance of your chain. And uh, if you don't want to have weird idiosyncrasies, if you decide to have one preset with a tone-sucking um, fuzz face, then just set all of your presets to 1M. In my case, I'm not going to change anything because I like my presets just the way they are. Sometimes some, some presets may be more mellower or whatever, but um, there you have it. Thanks for watching.